Hey everyone, your designers are here. I'm Anita with Cedar Hill Farmhouse. And I'm Yvonne, it's Joan Gable. And I'm Kelly at My Soulful Home. We've got tips and tricks and decorating advice for you today, so let's get started. Today is episode 78, Mood Boosting Ideas for Your Home. And today we're going to talk about little things that you can do right now that will give you and your home a lift. Oh, and I love these ideas because I think these are all simple, small things that you can do for your home. I think you feel so much better do it after you do them too, or during yes. when you're doing them. Yes. yes. And I wanted to throw in there before we get too far along that I still need people to vote. Please vote for my rugs with the, because the winning designs, the 10 winning designs are going to be made into rugs. And I'm so excited for this opportunity, but I definitely need your vote on the Annie Silke Instagram account. And that's Annie S-E-L-K-E Instagram account. And I'll have links in the show notes, but it's the last three designs. All you have to do is like them and I'll have an opportunity if mine is one of the top 10 for the design to be made into a rug. So I'm, I'm and we really... want Anita's rugs. She, uh, we want her designs. They're beautiful. Thank yes, you. But yes. I'm it just very honored. So thank you. Oh, well, we're very proud of you, Anita. Hey, so let's go ahead and talk about mood boosting ideas. Um, Anita, why don't you start? What uh, What's an idea that you have, a simple idea that would really boost your mood and the mood of your home? Well, I like bringing the outside in. So I think one of the easiest ways to do that is to have a plant inside the house. And it can be a flowering plant, but a lot of times the flowering plants can be a little you know, tricky to keep alive. So I think Miss Ivy is one of your best bets for keeping <laughs> her alive or that mm-hmm. fiddly ficus like uh, Yvonne oh, has. Yes, doing well. Uh, there's so many plants like that or maybe a succulent, something that mm-hmm. would stay alive without a lot of water. So I think that's, and it, but it's just fun seeing something alive. It makes me happy. And remember my idea, you can always help keep a lot of these plants, not the ones that like it dry, but the ones that like some moisture, you can help keep them alive by putting a cloche over them. And it helps the moisture uh, stay in the plant and not evaporate. That's a really good idea. Ellie? Well, Mine's a little more dramatic, but you could still do it in a pretty short period of time. How about you rearrange some furniture? Oh, I like to, I like to do that. Do you do I, that a lot? <laughs> I I kind of do. I move things around. Well, we all move things around, but I, I'm I'm talking about a, like a, a mid range to large. So are you are you talking about moving chairs from one? No, I move chairs from one room to another, switch yes. them out. But where my sofa yes, is, I know you have a chair just, rotation. I know I that. do have a chair rotation program, but where the sofa <laughs> goes, that just stays right there. I yeah. mean, I have certain places that chairs go, and it might be a different chair from one day to another, but it goes in that place. So, what about you? Well, I, my house is still sort of still very new to us. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. the things that have landed, I haven't really moved around too much, but I've certainly done this in the past and I've done it with friends. You know, when people know you like to do this sort of thing or they think you have a good eye for it, sometimes you get asked. And mm-hmm. I've had a couple of friends mm-hmm. who say, just come over and help me move stuff around because my room is not functioning the way I want it to. And even if your room is functioning really well, sometimes just moving things around gives you, a, I mean, literally and figuratively a new perspective on it things. does I so, agree with that you know unless you're really constrained uh, with your pieces of fur- your large pieces of furniture like you can only have your sofa in one spot because of the windows or the doorways or something like that if you've got the opportunity to move things around give it a try or <laughs> pull it away from the walls a little bit maybe you want to slide a thin console table behind your sofa then you can add a lamp and you can have a different kind of reading area there's so many opportunities. And you know what? It's really okay if you move, move it, it and you don't like it and you move it back. <laughs> That's oh, okay too. Except, except right? if you're in my house and if you're in my house, what happens that if doesn't, you're in your house? That doesn't fly. Bobby, if you ask him, hey, honey, I'm. I think maybe the bed will look better over here. <laughs> the bed. <laughs> and yeah, we've moved our bedroom around three times in the last year. And, and it just, he looks at me like I'm asking him to cut his arm off. Well, that's the look I get. Mm-hmm. That's why we don't, that's why if I can't move it by myself, it doesn't get moved pretty much. Well, but, yeah. Well, I'm pretty much a self-starter. Every once in a while, I have to ask Peter to help oh, me. And he'll, he'll say well, something like, well, 
I will wasn't say wasn't this over here already and we're moving it back. I'm getting a lot I know. of that. Well, you know what's great for this too? Get those sliders. And That's then you can great. move if there's if you don't have a lot of area rugs, I mean that can mess it up, but it's yeah. great for moving furniture by yourself. That's the only way I can do things by myself like moving a sofa, but I've had so <laughs> much fun at my friend Peggy's house because Peggy. we I I get to go over there and move. She lets me move whatever around I want to. Oh. And so on her house, I'll you know, mine, I spent a lot of time deciding where everything goes. So I feel like, okay, this is definitely the best spot. But for hers, it's kind of a fresh palette. And we have so much fun moving her stuff around. And, you know, she always acts like it's staying there when I leave. So I'm, I assume it stays, but <laughs> anyway, so but it's a lot of fun. No, I think that's so such true. a good idea. And where mm-hmm. there's a will, there's a way. If you want to move that thing that you don't think you can, like think of the rubber tree ant and combo, <laughs> you know, you could... T- Take little uh, face cloths or um, towel, not the show towels, of course, but <laughs> no. other towels. The floor towels. Rags, you have floor towels. The floor dance towels. And just tuck them under the ends because you don't want to scrape your floor. That's uh, true. And you also don't want to hurt your back. But yeah, if you put things under there, they'll just slide and you can slide it away. And, and you know what I end up doing too if I move things? particularly if it's in my own house, then you have an opportunity to clean up a little back there. Yeah. There's usually yes. some, oh, yes. maybe some little critters, little buggies or some dust bunnies living back there. So that gives you a chance to refresh too. It so does. I would suggest some, uh, rethink a space, have a look at it and see if you can move some things around. And even if you just keep it like that for a couple of weeks and you decide hmm, maybe the original spot was best, just slide it back. That is a wonderful idea. I have a really easy one. And this is something that will definitely boost your mood. Use a diffuser. Mm-hmm. Those are nice. I, yeah. I have one in our bedroom and I have one downstairs. Now, I do have you have little... wax in there or do you have essential no, oils? No, I use oils. I use oh, oils. Oh, nice. Um, essential oils. And... Um, I use, uh, there's like three or four types I really like. I just tried for the summer, tangerine and peppermint oh. together. Oh. And I wouldn't think of those two together. Oh, it it's smells good. so good. Yes. And I use them all the time and they're, you know, good for you and make the air smell good and there's nothing harmful. And then I use um, what up by our bed every night when we go to bed. Yeah, I haven't gotten into mm-hmm. that, but I really need to get into that. You know, and some of those. I've been I've been known to be three hundred miles away from the home, my home, not in this home, my other home, to call my next door neighbor and say, "Could you go make sure I blew out that candle?" So <laughs> you uh, don't have to do that. So you know, right. it it turns off when it's. Uh, done, but diffusers are wonderful and get the electric kind, not the kind that have the reeds in it. They don't diffuse as well. Um, but a diffuser that has, uh, it's like, is this something water. you buy from an individual or do you buy you just, it, it just online look at somewhere home? Uh, I mean, I know young living oil sells them, but also look just, um, home electrical home diffusers. There's all okay. kinds. <laughs> Great. Well, I'm going to get some some scent ideas for me, some oil ideas, which yeah. ones oh, I Oh, there's need. some great combinations. Can you give us just a couple more? Yes. Oh, of course. Um, I love anything with lavender in it. Um, I like uh, lemongrass, uh, citronella, tangerine, and tea tree together. Does the citronella one smell like those citronella candles? Citronella smells really good. It has like a fresh lemony and I don't use a lot of that. I just use a couple drops, but there, I I use a lot of like the, the citrus smells, especially in the summertime. And then my favorite for the winter is uh, cloves, cinnamon bark. Um, let's see the other one I use cloves, cinnamon bark, and not patchouli. That smells wonderful. frankincense. Oh, oh, wow. That smells that just beautiful. Sm- it sounds warm, doesn't it? It's, it? it smells warm. Yes. But if you can put, I'd love to put a, t- a tad of tangerine almost in anything because it smells so good. Oh, that sounds oh, wonderful. Mm-hmm. It's, and, do you have you one, know, Anita? I do. I love adding some happy color. And, you know, we've got I've got a neutral home. And so I love the neutrals. They're very calm. They're very peaceful. But sometimes it can be a little boring. So it's nice to add a little splash of color in there and a, just a splash of a, a new pillow or some other decorative thing in the room, adding a little bit of color, maybe moving something out of the closet and into the room just makes me happy. 
Okay. Speaking of new, how about new towels? I mean, new towels is kind of like new underwear. <laughs> I just think it's such a refresh. Mm-hmm. I love mm-hmm. new towels. Yes. Yes. Now oh, I, that's a great sort of idea. boring. I use everything is white, white towels. Well, I and, do the white ones too. Yeah. And they yeah, have me a shelf, too, but still they have a shelf life. Towels? Yes. Oh, ex- yeah. That's what I was going to say. Exactly. But I have some of the Turkish towels too. And I love those, the tasseled towels. They're my favorite, Anita. I oh. love Faltas? those too. Yes. Well, they're also oh. called that. Yes. Love, mm-hmm. love, love, love. Mm-hmm. So buying one of those would be a real mood booster, wouldn't it? Oh, well, get one with oh. a bright color and then it'll be even more fun. And then it'll, it's a, yeah, a double dip. I also think if you're talking about bright colors, like buy a poof. They're just fun. Poofs are fun. And they're inexpensive and they're really useful. You can sit on them. They used to call them hassocks. You know what I'm saying? Like hassocks. hassocks, yes. My grandmother yeah. had a hassock. Yeah, that's what oh my, my gr- that's exactly how I, I thought. I haven't heard that word in so long. Yeah, my grandmother had old. a hassock. That's exactly where I remember hassock. it. Now, oh I think God. of a poof mm-hmm. being like an ottoman, but really softer and more squishy. Yes, Is that what you're yes, thinking? Yes, exactly. Too? And you can and sit on it. Or you sit, and kind mm-hmm. of more g- g- maybe tufted. I don't mm-hmm. know. Poof gives Fun. me more of a feminine feel to it. Mm-hmm. Well, they mm-hmm. also, I like those gl- with the global or tribal. Oh yeah. Um, well, yeah. I have a jewelry uh, rug fabric? kind of look on top. Yes. Of I love poops. that. Yeah. I love that. Yes. That's beautiful. How about washing your windows? I know that's not fun, <laughs> but well, if wow. someone else is doing it, I think that would boost. I my don't, mood. if I have to do, do it, it, I am not going to be in a good mood. But when you're done, you are so funny <laughs> to have, <laughs> remember she's not the clean cleaner. Windows. She's not, she's the, not cleaner. the cleaner. I know. No, I, yeah, cleaner. I, I definitely get a mood boost from cleaning. So I would say cleaning, cleaning anything, but uh, cleaning the windows. Oh, uh, I think that's right. Really and nice. we live out amidst like, well, farmland just everywhere. So there's always something blowing in or a farmers. We're always having to, our, our windows always are in a state of some kind of dirty. And I don't do them. Myself. Is that during that dairy air time well, of year? Yeah, there is a dairy air time of year, but um, all the time of year right now, it's just like farm dirt from people, you know, um, plowing up and re- reseeding and plowing down and um, and so I do have somebody to come in to clean my windows because I have tons of windows in this house and a lot of them, you have to be on a ladder. So I yeah. love it when they're done. So well, do you, you climb the ladder someone? to do it? Do I? No, does Yvonne. Yes. Yes. We wow. Do. You do? Oh, I'm mm-hmm. impressed. Mm-hmm. Well, there's just some things that we don't do ourselves and I have somebody that does that for me. I have some windows. They are up so high. There's no way I would get up that on that ladder. To no, climb. well, I have someone for the outside Ugh. of my, my house is three stories. So I'm not, you know, right. I'm not going to mm-hmm. risk it. Um, but even if you did your two, or, you know, I'm saying two, maybe you have more, but you know, you're over the sink windows, the ones you're probably looking out of mm-hmm. the most of the day. Mm-hmm. Even if you just did the inside of those, you know, just, yeah, like, just you, you know, even the smell of the, the cleanser, I don't know, really just <laughs> definitely boosts my mood. Right? It's like well, that I clean did smell something or get similar. the donkey nose marks off your windows. Yeah. So I have two chandeliers over my island and last weekend I put a little, I guess I was watching Hulu. I watched a little TV show on my laptop on the island while I took every one of those crystals down and washed them. Oh. So they're all sparkling Was that during now. the weekend that you were relaxing and not working that you told oh, me about? Yes, maybe. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> uh, with Alrighty. Anita, I don't know that there's anything that's called close to what most people call relaxing. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, oh my yeah, gosh. Definitely. I have another one. Um, either pick or buy yourself some flowers. Oh, yes. nice. I do you that just, all the time. And oh. you can find some. Well, we have a Trader Joe's nearby, and I found out they have these, the, their flowers are just so much better than what you normally get in most grocery stores. Oh, the Trader Joe's some, flowers are great, and they're so oh, inexpensive. I'm so jealous. Yes, I don't peonies, have one here. Oh, my goodness. And then yes. to, go, to go with the flowers by Kelly's new book that's coming out. Oh, oh yes. about a, you're going to need Oh, my to gosh, Kelly, in five days. And it's called My Soulful Home, A Year in Flowers. And uh, she'll show you how to arrange those pretty flowers. But flowers right. always give you a boost. 
Yeah. yeah and the, it's on, it's on Amazon, so you can buy it. So is it my, my soulful home, a year in flowers? Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. And I have a very simple formula for always getting it right. And it's, um, super easy to follow. So I've used Trader Joe's flowers. I, I, every time I go grocery shopping, I treat myself to some flowers. I don't go to Trader Joe's every time I shop, but anytime I'm there, I'm buying some flowers. It's a little further away, but oh my goodness, there's a few foods there that I love. So I'm going to be going there on a regular basis. Well, now. get those flowers then and help I'm and going treat to. yourself. Yep. Mm-hmm. Another thing that I like to do to boost the mood is to get a tray and just put my favorite things on it. Kind of put that out front and center someplace I'm going to see it and grab my favorite things that I love and put that on the tray. And the and it just every time I walk by it, it just makes me smile. A la vignette? Is that what you're talking yes, about? Yes, a vignette. And a then vignette. that's where you put your plant or your flowers mm-hmm. that you just got from Trader Joe's mm-hmm. and um, maybe some other fun things there. And I think that, yeah. Your and then white you're just iron smile. stone. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I, you know, I love that, that idea. Use your good stuff, you know, break yes. it out. Mm-hmm. What, you know, what are you saving it for? You know, two holidays, three holidays a year. Use your, pick, pick one of your crystal goblets you might've gotten for your wedding or find one at a yard sale for a buck. I've done that. Uh, and I drink if I'm having wine at night, uh, which I am one to do. I have this <laughs> little uh, goblet that I use and, and it's a big my pour. special little one. <laughs> And it makes me feel good. Well, yes, I've tried Is this to... a large pour? No, yeah. because yes. no, because I'm self-regulating. And oh. so I found this very small, Peter calls it the thimble. And I found this very <laughs> small uh, wine glass with a pretty little gold rim. And I've been using that. And it's, so, and it's just oh, sounds wait, gorgeous. such a little treat. I like are you know having it. like five of those? Because you used to say, I love a big pour. I do love a big pour, but you know, that's a lot of sugar. Oh, okay. so uh, I'm, I'm trying to control that a little bit. Uh, it's not so much about the wine. It's a, that's a lot of, sh- that's just sort of a lot yeah. of empty calories. So anyway, but that's a story for another day, but, um, hey, break something wine, out. A mood booster. <laughs> wine <laughs> is a mood booster. <laughs> one thimble <I'm>, full. <laughs> one thimble full, do you? Maybe two. Maybe two if it's a bad day. And three if it's Friday. But who's counting? <laughs> Inevitably, with the new year come wellness goals. One very effective and easy to reach goal is to add dose to your wellness regime. Dose is expertly formulated organic wellness shots that support your liver in one delicious drink. Formulated with ingredients clinically shown to support liver health, potent turmeric, milk thistle, and ginger. There's zero sugar and zero calories. Did you know that your liver performs over 500 special functions? Since I learned all that my liver is doing, I started with Dose to support all those vital functions. I take a shot of refreshing Dose two times per week to combat everyday toxins from food, meds, alcohol, and unhealthy air. Since starting with Dose about a month ago, I am definitely feeling an overall improvement in my health. So if you want to give Dose a shot and invest in your health like I have, Dose is offering DTT listeners 15% off your first order, plus an additional 15% off if you subscribe for a monthly delivery. That's 30% off your first order. So go to dosedaily.com co slash dtt and use the code dtt that's dose daily dot co dot co slash dtt and use the code dtt pesto pork chops over parmesan polenta not that easy to say but oh so easy to make with green chef Green Chef is the number one meal kit company for eating well, and we have such a great deal for you. You're going to save $250. Listen on for the details on that. Green Chef makes eating well easy for any lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat more balanced meals. You know, we're getting into the busy holiday season, so it's a perfect time to have Green Chef help you out. Let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season with their chef-crafted, nutritionist-approved recipes featuring fresh ingredients and nothing artificial. And you know what? You don't have to lose track of your healthy eating habits during the holidays. Every Green Chef customer gets a free, that's right, a free session with their registered dietitians who will walk you through how to make clean eating work for you. So sign up for your free session and start on the road towards better health today. And that deal I want to tell you about, visit greenchef.com slash DTT250 
and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. So that's greenchef.com slash DTT250 and use the code DTT250 for $250 off your order. And okay, okay so again, s- sliding into the next thing, we're talking about wine. How about, which I don't do as much as I would like to, have a girlfriend or two over. Mm. It doesn't have to be a big Always deal. Always fun. Always fun, yeah. right? I mean, I feel like I'm having girlfriends over when I get to talk to you guys and we, we do our yes. episodes. And I feel like I hopefully we're making everybody who's listening feel like they're spending time with girlfriends because that's how we feel about you all. That's right. But have yeah. an actual live girlfriend over. <laughs> once in a while. Yeah, in, in person. That's in person. great. Mm-hmm. Right. And, and have an ice have tea have or something. Yeah, right. that doesn't have to be wine. Well, and we have so many fun coffee shops here. Actually, I end up going out and maybe meeting them there. But sometimes oh, I have them over to the house too. I love that. I love to go to coffee shops and meet somebody. I even well, love there's to go so there many and work. Mm-hmm. Non, there's so many around me that are not chains. And I love going to the ones that aren't chains. Because they're I just so unique and cozy. And they, the one near me has lots of sofas. And it's cool. Fun. Yeah, we have stuff like that too. But it is really fun. Like I've had some friends over uh, on the porch and, you know, like we've talked about, you know, sometimes we fantasize about being bag of chip girls. Like you just mm-hmm. pour in a bag of chips and have a bunch of people over. Well, that's really not the way we roll. And that's okay because we enjoy making a fuss over people, but people don't expect that. So anytime I've had, you know, if they do it, if you do it for them, it's a treat. So if you put out some nice olives and maybe some mixed nuts or those great cheese sticks that come in the, the box, you, which you can get at Trader Joe's, and just open a bottle of wine. <laughs> hey, or, Trader Joe's has $1.99 wine too. Well, there you go. I don't know if your friends will come back if you I serve know. them $1.99 no, wine. I haven't, tried, I haven't tried it yet, My but I've heard it. My friends will come back for that kind I've of actually wine. heard it was good, so I don't know if it's true the or not. The two-buck chuck? <laughs> oh, that's right. I don't know. That's what it's oh. called because it's like Charles something, and everybody here calls it two, two buck, buck chuck. Two oh buck chuck. I'm, well, I'm going to try it, and then I'll tell you if it's I, good. Oh, I, yeah, definitely do that. I would suggest perhaps make a sangria out of that. I don't know. Oh, it's okay. Up. So it's not really quite that. It's not quite not all that. that. Well, but you, there yeah, is okay. a rose from Trader Joe's that I've been purchasing for. Four ninety nine. Oh my! It's, it is fabulous, and it is well, from Pro- Provence. So, are you going to tell us what the name of it is? Yeah, you know? it's like Sangol. It's S A N G O L, I believe, and it's actually I have it in some pictures in that post where I did my porch. Mm-hmm. And I remember I'm, that I, I'm going to do a a post on rosé because so many people mentioned I love rosé too, or my friend drinks rosé, and I was like, that's pink wine. I don't know about that, but. I'm all into rosé this year, but we're mm. that's a lot of mood boosting if you drink a lot of wine. So <laughs> and your house something... might look better to you, too. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> your house we... will look great, and you won't see any of the dust bunnies, and the windows will look clean. <laughs> <laughs> a little foggy, maybe, but clean. Right. That's fine. Oh, that's so cute. How about organizing? Let's go from the – I mean, take your, oh, yes. take your glass of wine and go organize a drawer. Just, yeah, just one, one makes drawer. Me- That makes me feel so much better when I've organized my house. Or even like you said, just doing one drawer Mm -hmm. or one closet. It's This weekend, of course, we have, like I was saying in the last episode, we have no fronts on our cabinets or our drawers because we're having everything painted, our kitchen painted. Uh, And um, I've been, I've, have been in a wheelchair for six months. And so I'm getting better. I've had a foot issue, but I have no idea like where people are putting stuff. Like I can't go grocery shopping. So this went on for six months. So when they took the doors off my pantry closets, I almost like passed out. I had seven bottles of ketchup. (laughs) Oh. <laughs> Wait, did you How? find your whisk? Did you find your whisk? Yes, yes, I, I found the whisk. Yes. I have um what six six cans of black beans. Like I mean, <laughs> no. just like all this. Well, that's not that weird at our house. Well, but I'm I feeling just had some all chili this, coming on. I had yeah, all this stuff. So I cleaned that totally. Now it took me three and a half hours, but it was your I mean, mood after that. Were you oh, I felt I mean, I, other than I pulled a trapezius muscle and my foot hurt um, because I'm lugging all these big boxes around, it, oh, I'm I'm so glad the doors aren't on it. It looks like a work of art. I'm so excited. I'm so proud of it. Yes. And it Aww. boosted my mood. So just even just clean one drawer out, like clean your junk drawer out. It, there's always that one drawer that collects more than it should. 
just clean that out or go through your shoes and clean out your shoes or, you know, just do something that doesn't take a huge commitment, but you'll feel it is a real mood booster and it also makes your house look better. Oh, like it, it it boosts my mood so much. And it's the sort of thing that no one else is probably going to notice, but it's just going to make you feel so much better. And then you can find, then you, then that's how you find out you have six bottles of oh. ketchup. I'm going to oh show it. Gosh. Oh, no, no. I'm going to show it off. I have a company coming. My house is going to be um, photographed for a book. Not my book, but a book. And mm-hmm. I'm going to open those. I'm going to show them my, my pantry because I am so proud of it. I mean, <laughs> I've got all my cans and beautiful rattan um, uh, baskets. So it's wow. just real. Oh, yeah. Very impressive. Nine, yep. And I just feel so so good about it. So when they come, I'm going to say, oh, do you want to shoot my pantry? Look how it yeah, looks. Come on inside. <laughs> Look at mine all my, mine, my looks, pantry. mine looks great. And then we go to Costco and then it's a big mess again. Oh uh, yeah. Well, I'm going to, I'm taking on, I have my staples and I'm taking on the attitude. I only will bring in the house what we cook for the week. Oh, well, I, I, I'm so I wasn't raised that way. I mean, I yeah. think my dad was a secretly a survivalist. So mm-hmm. we had, uh, you know, it was, it was enough if there was a, you know, a nuclear war or something. We you had were enough. ready? Yeah. We were ready for months. Well, months. I just wow. figure it's only going to prolong the, the inevitable. I'd have so. to buy a lot of rosé. <laughs> I'm, <yeah. laughs> <I'm> ready. <laughs> I'm going to meet Jesus anyway. So I'm, I'm perfectly fine with it. And when way. you meet Jesus, you'll have a lot of ketchup to bring. Yeah, well, yeah, but you know, you can't be sustained on ketchup that no, sustained on ketchup that long. True. So, Okay. Go Let's ahead. get back to boosting. Mm-hmm. I have one. Okay, got it. Okay, how about uh, a pretty wreath on your door? Oh, yeah. So that can greet you when you come home. Yes. Uh, I can't put it on my front door because of the screen door, but I have another door that, uh, in my to my dining room. You that- can do one of those hangers off, off of the top too, I think. Yes, yes. Um, well, Great it's idea. the people that, that swing it open and shut, which is more my oh, issue with my wreath. Yeah. those people. The, yes, I know yes. about those people. Those people. <laughs> those people. <laughs> yeah, mm-hmm. that don't close gently. Yes. Uh, but yeah, a wreath at your door, either make it yourself or you could buy them. The wreaths are fairly expensive, so I would suggest you just make one. I mean, even if you just and got a really simple easy. one, put, put a bow on it and a little flower yeah. or something. And if you go over to my site, I have... Oh, tons and tons of wreaths because that's one of my things. Just Google like Stone Gable summer wreaths, Stone Gable fall wreaths. Well, we'll put them in the show notes. Let's make it easy. There's too many. There's too. I mean, there's literally. Well, we can do it. We can do a search on wreaths, and then Mm -hmm. they can just go see them all. Yeah, there you go. That's exactly right. That's a good idea. Yeah, and nothing, nothing is nicer than a beautiful wreath on a front door or a door that you can see. Absolutely right. Or um, maybe get a pot and do a container planting and put it near your front door. Oh, yes. That's fun any time of year. And you could even put little battery operated lights in it if say if you did a boxwood or something like that. And um, you can light it up at night or it doesn't have little, I believe that little white lights are not just for the holidays. And so you can oh, have those anytime. Right. And little white mm-hmm. lights always boost my mood. Mm-hmm. But what And what about opening the curtains, pulling them back, opening the shades, letting all that light in. I think some people um, end up leaving the shades closed and just in a room that they're not in. And it just looks depressing even it walking by It does look depressing. Oh, I so agree with you, Anita. That's a very good or one. Or the shutters are all closed. Yeah, so try yeah. opening all that up. Oh, I, have the, to, I have to admit Let the sunshine something. in. I don't yes. always make my bed. And I wish I'd always did make my bed. I know. I know. Mm -hmm. I'm just letting you in on that. I don't, I don't always. So try not to think less of me, but I would say maybe half the days in the week I make my bed. And then sometimes I think about it and it's like 530. I'm Mm -hmm. like, what's the point? You know, I could do something else in those minutes. But when I make my bed, I feel better. Yes. Yes. It definitely boosts my mood or I'll walk past my room and be like, my bed looks really nice. Like I set up. I can't even make my bed anymore because my daughter likes to play with pens and she takes all the pens and goes and sits on my bed. And so if I make my bed, I get pen marks all the way. So I can't, I can't even do that anymore. I I have a post called, I think it's like eight reasons to make your bed. And so I'll put that in the show notes now. Yeah. Well, it's, it's when she's not here, I make them. (laughs) <laughs> yeah, well, it does. No, actually, but it, no, I think actually to some degree it is. I think it does. It does. And, and, well, mm-hmm. I love seeing my bed made. And I just, and while my daughter was out of town, 
we made her bed. So for a week, <laughs> I, there is a book that I just got. It was by a, an admiral, I think. I, I, oh, I'm just looking around my study for it. I can't, I think it's upstairs on my nightstand. And it talks about like having a habit. And the first thing he did, he, he did. And I, I, I'm so sorry. I don't, I'll put it in the show notes, but I don't remember his name. And he learned when he went to boot camp to make your bed because it's a, a, a if you do one good thing in the morning, a discipline, because it's a discipline. There's so many disciplines, and that's just one of them making your bed. It starts your day off with a task well done. And I oh. thought that was, it sets the mood. I thought that was such a good idea. Go ahead, clean out your closet, then head straight to Quinn's. I love every item Quince offers from wardrobe to decor, and I can really recommend their Ultra Stretch Super Wide Leg Pants at $49.90. The price is unbeatable, and the look is so flattering. It keeps you in on top and flares out of the bottom. Everything feels right with Quince. The price, the quality, and the sustainability. Quince offers a range of luxury wardrobe and home goods at prices within reach. And like Quince's clothing, their home goods are priced 50 to 80% less than similar brands. Quince only works with factories that use safe, ethical, and responsible manufacturing practices, along with premium fabrics and finishes. Once you've cleaned out your closet and refreshed with Quince, you can also add something to your home decor. So give your wardrobe and your home the refresh it needs with Quince. Go to quince.com slash DTT to get free shipping and 365-day returns on your next order. That's quince, Q-U-I-N-C-E dot com slash DTT for free shipping and 365-day returns. Quince.com slash DTT. And let me know how you love those pants. Green Chef is a delicious delight any time of year, but especially during the holidays. What a wonderful vision to behold of the Green Chef boxes on your doorstep. Green Chef is the number one meal kit for eating well. And it makes eating well so easy with plans to fit every lifestyle, whether you're keto, paleo, vegan, vegetarian, gluten-free, or just looking to eat a more balanced diet. So let Green Chef take the work out of eating clean this holiday season. And if you've got guests coming, shop Green Bundles. They're now available at the Green Market. It's your one-stop shop for nutritious grab-and-go breakfasts, including vegan options, brunch kits, wholesome lunches, ready-to-eat snacks, veggie sides, and more. You can feel your best this December and do your best with Green Chef because they offset 100% of the delivery emissions as well as 100% of the plastic in every box. Go to greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 60DTT and get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. greenchef.com slash 60DTT and use the code 6060DTT to get 60% off plus 20% off your next two months. I read, you know, I'm racking my brain too because I heard about that book. Mm-hmm. And I heard an interview on, I don't know what it was, NPR or something with this gentleman. And it sounded so interesting. I actually thought about getting for my dad for Father's yeah. Day. Well, I got then, it. It's wonderful. Is it wonderful? So yes. when, you find, when you find the name, can can we talk about that again or put it in the show notes? I'll put it in the show would, notes. Mm-hmm. I think it's a, it would be a great book for uh, lots of reasons. Mm-hmm. There's another mood booster. How about playing music in your house? <gasps> oh, oh, Turn off that the one. TV and put on some pr- nice music, whatever you love. Oh okay. my gosh. I can't believe I didn't think of it that one. Yesterday afternoon, Laura and I sat on her bed. It was so fun, you guys. And we made a playlist. I never make playlists oh. anymore. Oh, yeah. And she had yeah, started one. And she's got French music on there. She's very into French music today, oh. these days. So and is it popular French music? No. It's uh, it's the bass Edith of the- Piaf? She doesn't have any PF on there. I suggested, but it was she didn't she didn't care for the little bird as much as I do. But okay. uh, <laughs> Francois Hardy, she was a singer in the '60s. Kind of, I mean, obviously she's French, and Astrid Gilberto is you know is not French and is uh, sings in Portuguese, but kind of the same time frame. And I had never never heard of her. And so we we started with three of her songs. And then I kept, she said, well, you suggest people to me. And so bands she had never heard of, you know, that were around 
earlier than 14 years ago. And we put together this fabulous playlist. So good. Oh my goodness. Oh. So can you share what was on the playlist? Can you put it on Pandora? I, and I share wonder it? if I can. I don't know. She tried to share it with me yesterday and I had a little well, issue. Can- but oh. I'm going to, I will get it and I will try to share it. And she would be so, I mean, she would just be so that pleased would that be anybody so would hear it. Yeah, we'll just write them down. Even without links, just tell us the songs. Yeah, I would, yeah. I would okay. be very I'm interested well, in those. <laughs> we, um, we love to play when we're all together. We have, we all have Alexis. Uh, do you say Alexis's or Alexis or what? Alexis. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have, we have an Alexis in all of our house. So we are continually going, oh, let's play, you know, blah, 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 blah. And. My my daughter loves country music as my my husband does, and well we sort of all do. But that there's a song called "Shut Up and Dance with Me." And oh like, yeah, we love that song. Shut up it actually was a bad word when my kids were growing up. They weren't right. allowed to say it. So now I think it's so hysterical that they're singing this song and they just love it. And the other oh, there's just a couple other ones. And my little I have an eight month old grandson who goes like crazy. He starts jumping up and down. It's Aww. so cute. Aww. So music really is a mood booster and make sure that your your house is filled with it. Oh, great idea. And you know, when you're not listening to music, you can listen to us. That's right. <laughs> we, we, are, we should be on the top of that. We're the best. Oh my mood goodness. Booster. Well, we, have we love told. hanging out with you. We have been By told Patricia. we're a mood booster. We're not uh-huh. even just boost our own horns here. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more. How about setting a pretty table? Oh, oh that's nice. yeah. Mm-hmm. You Using know, all that fun stuff yes. that maybe isn't getting used. Yes. What's the point of having it if you're not going to use it? Oh, isn't, except if you're a blogger and you have to re- keep recycling things, but yeah. yes. But I like to use my mm-hmm. pretty stuff. But tr- we've lit, we have lighted candles, real candles, you know, tapers at the table, no matter whether it's pizza night or if it's Christmas Eve. I and love every that. night. Every yep. night. What, so do you we. Know, like, what's oh. the big deal? You know, I just I have oh. a cabinet with and I buy my candles. Come on, you can say it at Trader, Trader Joe's. Joe. <laughs> oh, I have a, they have candles there too. Oh, I'm, they have can, the candles are so great. The dripless candles. They're, Trader Joe should be sponsoring this show. All this, yeah. Hey, hey, let's them. If anybody knows anybody at Trader Joe's, make them listen to this episode. Um, I'm going to have to find the candles. I now. told you my story about I was over at my girlfriend's house when I was oh, in yeah, tenth I grade with the, with the cute boyfriend. Yeah, and I I was more excited that they had. Um, candles. They they lit candles. That's the first time, like on a weeknight, I'd ever seen that. I was more excited than that than the cute boyfriend. So yeah, so that says mm-hmm. a lot. And so ev- we. Bobby have doesn't candles. know how lucky he is. <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, he does. I tell him every day. <laughs> okay, good. Good for you, Yvonne. <laughs> well. You know, so, but anyway, light them because, and now that your girls have grown up with that, I think that's going to be wonderful. They'll, they'll pass that along too. They'll use that. That's really Oh cool. yeah. Well, if they're not sitting mm-hmm. on, even if we're sitting in the kitchen and if, you know, we mm-hmm. set the table, I don't have the candles on the, the island all day mm-hmm. long. So if there's whoever's job is to set the table, they go get the candles. It's just part of what happens. Oh, that's such a oh. fun thing. Oh, I love that. That's and everybody really looks better in candlelight. So that well, that's, that's everybody's true. mood. <laughs> <laughs> when you've got all girls, that's true. Yes. And yes. you need a mirror in there in the dining room so everybody can see themselves. So, Oh, yes. And that bounces around that candlelight. Well, this yeah. has been so much fun. You guys have definitely boosted my mood as you always do. And uh, we are so happy to spend time with you every week. And we want to remind you that we are here to help you create a beautiful home. Until next time. Hey there. If you're loving our podcast like we're loving our podcast, we would love you to rate and review us. Head to iTunes to do that. It's easy and it would mean so much to us. And if you do rate and review us, we're going to enter you to win a fantastic giveaway. The details for the giveaway are in the show notes for this episode. And you can find the show notes at decoratingtipsandtricks.com.